Well, um, so we're, we're debuting a new little segment here. We don't necessarily have a name for it just yet, but you know, with with economic times being what they are for some people, um, the, there's a lot of value being able to watch something for free. And uh, so we're, you know, we're going to occasionally carve out a segment where we find a TV show or movie that you can, in fact, watch for free. Yes. And uh, this week we have the anime Tsugakage Ran, or Carried by the Wind. Yeah, uh, you you were telling me about this. Uh, I had never heard of it before. Um, yeah, um, I, the only reason I f came across this was because I, there's somebody I follow on Twitter who uh, he'll just occasionally. Actually, no, that, that was a different set of threads than what he usually does. Um, this was basically people. Um, I think they were responding to Sweet Baby Ink stuff. Like you guys don't like female characters and. Somebody posted a image of uh, Ran here, the main samurai lady in the front, uh, doing that really cool uh, fight scene from the opening. Oh yeah, <laughs> and I was like, "What is that?" And he and he gave me the name of the show, and uh, yeah, it, so here we are. It yeah. is available to stream on Tubi for no cost. Yes, um, I I watched the first three episodes. I don't know how many you got into. Uh, yep, that, that's what I did too. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, so uh, Ron is a uh, she's a samurai lady um, in in feudal Japan, uh, and uh, she basically uh, I think she's she's a a Ronin. Would that be uh, fair to say? Well, she definitely seems to be penniless and doesn't talk about having a master. So, yeah, seems like a Ronin. Yes, uh, and uh, and she she likes her sake. <laughs> Functional alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh yeah and uh and so he uh or she sorry uh she uh you know will run afoul of bandits and uh and you know she'll she basically goes from town to town um and like the the first town uh it was um it was a families were fighting each other right yeah and um and so she had to, to help out with that and, and of course uh, during her travels, she runs into the the cat and girl, cat Lee, you know, Mew, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, right. Her name is Meow. Meow uh, okay. uh, of the of the cat fist style. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and she's a very classic sort of overexcited anime girl character. Yeah, yeah, um, and uh, so you know, and. So there's a. I'm trying to remember the, what else. Ha what all happened in the first episode? It was like. Um, well, I mean, basically, it was your introductory episode. Um, I, I looked a little bit into the production of this, and apparently, the way they would write this is that they would come up with a title, then work backwards for it. Or twelve. Uh. <laughs> it's a very. Uh, it's a very. A very episodic show. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because then the then the second episode, uh, she ends up in a dry town. And she's out of sake. <laughs> yes, and uh, you find out why it's a dry town, and it's way more, um, way more sinister than you might think. Yeah, yeah. So she, yeah, she ends up in a, basically the a, a feudal Japanese version of a speakeasy, and uh, she drinks the sake, and it's watered down. Yep, and she's just immediately offended by this. Yeah. <laughs> we also learned that Meow is a complete lightweight. Oh, yeah, <laughs> she, yeah. She has like one sip of it, and she's just uh, oh, this watered down sake. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then the third episode. I would say the third episode is the most serious of the bunch, and it's also the one where Meow gets the most focus. Yeah, because um, uh, Meow gets uh, left with a a baby. This just kind of just shows up, you know, for her to take care of, and. Uh, and the, the baby is like the the son of uh, the mistress of a of a uh, feudal lord, and uh, the the lord's wife is trying to get rid of the kid, and they have to watch over him. And and she, uh, yeah, she she meow gets uh, gets attached to the baby. Yep. Yeah. 
if I, I, I would struggle to necessarily describe the genre of this, and I might say it's like in that style of anime genre blend, because the show has some very funny moments. Mm -hmm. But then it can get very serious when the situation calls for it. Yeah. Ran is kind of a classic protagonist where um, she has her foibles, but she definitely knows how to serious up and and gets annoyed when things are unjust. Yes. Yeah. Um, and, you know, a lot of times she's just like, ah, don't bother me. I don't want to deal with it. But then she ends up dealing with it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, often Meow is the one who ends up more tightly integrated with the plot and then yeah. and, and struggling. And then Rand shows up and saves the day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, uh, the uh, what got me about the the episode with the baby was the uh, clearly never seen a a, a man before. Yes, <laughs> so just like ah, he's leaking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. What's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I would say this is an easy one to pick up, and since it is so episodic, um, I might suggest watching the first episode first, just because it does lay the groundwork, but you could just go through the episode list and see what looked interesting. Yeah. See what premise speaks to you. Uh, and this one was kind of an unusual by modern standards because it is, there isn't a light novel or manga attached to it. It's just an original show. Yeah. And uh, I, I think it was, it looked like a 2000s show. Yep. Uh, specifically the year 2000. Oh, okay. So, so probably animated in 1999. Yeah. So yeah, so if you yeah if you like that era of anime, yeah, don't like this. And I, I would say that now I, the best compliment I, the, 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 that this show can get is that while it is a two thousands anime dub, I showed the first episode to a friend of mine, and he thought it was a more recent dub. Huh. Now I could tell because um, there's like a certain over literalness that you get with some of those old ADV dubs and I recognized a few of the voice actors and actresses from those old days but everybody everybody seemed well cast and did a good job yeah so especially by the standards of the time yes but uh, if you prefer to read subtitles they do also have the sub version on Tubi as well yes but um but yeah um I I think that not much more needs to be said um yeah 